Schaefer joins us with a recipe that is perfect for summer. Ms. How Dana, are you doing? Yeah, we, we haven't seen you here in the studio oh. yet. It's your first time back. Usually you've been taping videos, but thank you for bringing all of your, your ingredients to our station. We appreciate it. Ladies, I've missed it so much. And the recipe I'm going to share today is wonderful for summertime because you don't have to turn on your oven. And especially on a day like today, you're definitely not going to want to turn on the oven. It's called a pineapple icebox cake. Ooh, and to get ooh, that yes. started, you start with an eight ounce cream cheese. And in that I have poured a 14 ounce sweetened condensed milk. You're going to want to mix that with a mixer. Uh, then you're going to put in crushed pineapple. You need an eight ounce can that you've, you've squeezed all the juice out of. You're going to put that in, mix that in, and then fold in eight ounces of Cool Whip. Now you need a full 16 for the recipe, but only eight ounce in this bowl. In a separate bowl, I have one and a half cups of regular milk, and I'm gonna put in a small vanilla pudding, and we're just gonna whisk that a little bit. And you do need to do this separately, and once you've mixed it well, then you're just gonna pour it into that pineapple mixture. Oh my goodness, All every together. ingredient that you have mentioned so far sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my put goodness, them and and yes. once you put it together, it's going to sit overnight in your icebox or in your refrigerator for like eight hours and uh, the vanilla wafers soak up all this delicious filling. Mm. Go ahead and finish stirring it up there. And the way that it works is you're going to put just a spoonful on the bottom of a nine by 13 pan. So, so I've got that mixed together. I'm just going to move this over and put a little bit here on the bottom. And then you're going to put a layer of vanilla wafers. And the recipe specifically says vanilla brand is the best, but I'm sure any would work. Mm -hmm. But I have used the vanilla brand. You're going to put a layer of vanilla wafers. Then you're going to put a third of this mixture on top. You're then gonna layer another wafer, another layer of the filling. You're gonna have three layers total. And then once you get done, you're gonna cover the entire nine by 13 with the uh, finished uh, out with the eight ounces of Cool Whip. And I just smooth that over the top. Now this is where you can make the recipe your own. Mm -hmm. I actually added <laughs> coconut pecans, and then of course the maraschino cherries, mm, yes. which just makes it beautiful. Uh, but you put that in the refrigerator for at least eight hours, and then you're ready to serve it. Oh my goodness, we can hear Foxy out there. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I'm, yeah, over it. I'm sure it's been a long Salve time since he's had it. one of the Lulu's <laughs> recipes, so I'm anxious to share it with him. Well, that's the perfect way to cool off with the See, it oh, makes a beautiful piece of cake. Oh, look oh at that. wow. And, and like you said, you don't have to turn on your oven and warm up your house while mm -hmm. you do it. It's cool and refreshing and yes, mm, well, that looks fantastic. Thank you so much. We love seeing you and well, a great recipe. I love being here and we've been really busy at Lulu. So I just like to invite everybody to come out and try this new recipe. Awesome. Great to see you, Miss Dina. It's great to be here.